Okay, hello everyone. My name is Wanda. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how I create the sculpted hair, the similar technique, the same technique that I use for my recent project, Yula Friend Art. So as you can see here, the hair is fully sculpted. I don't use any fiber mesh or hair and fur setting, something like that. So the main purpose for the 3D sculpted hair is for usually for 3D printing. Usually I do this type of hair is for all my previous model that I did for collectible toys, something like that, collectible statue. To make a hair like this, I use my own custom brush. I will show you in this tool like this first all you need is a single sub tool please make sure the sub tool have the uv map so as you can see when i put the texture here you can see the model have a uv map already if it haven't then you can add the uv map in the zip login and then uv master you can just press unwrap and let the process begin and after you have that sub tool all you need to do is you need to load the brush you you press brush and then load brush and then you load the brush hair uv as you can see there's a four type of brush there's like a three hair type like three clump of hair and then double and single hair for detailing and then the the fourth one is flat is usually for me i use it for like make it front hair uh, okay let's start with the the first one three hair clump the way how it's first is just you just drag the brush like this so you can see the brush the hair is generated so you can set the sharpness the of the tip of the hair on the stroke and then we see the size you see and then the, this one is for the tip of the hair this one for the root of the hair for the tip you can like shrink it if we want and then you can press it once more as you can see the tip is now is shrunk after you satisfied with a single hair clump you can split your model into two so there is the base head something like this and the, the, the second one is the hair itself so you can see over here in the sub tool palette you have split and then press split on mask point over here now the subtool is turned to two like this so we we pick the second one the the hair one you can check the what is called again the frame mesh i forgot what it's called just press the shift f the wireframe i, I mean and then you can press the d button on the keyboard to show the dynamic set division and then there's a pop-up like this you just press always yes and now you see the hair is now smooth and the next step is we need to load the hair texture for this hair the way I do is by press the surf surface and then we press noise as you can see there is a open a new windows thing and then we press open and then we load the same file inside the folder as you can see now there's a line this line is actually appear because I insert the alpha in the noise you can change the scale of the hair like using this one like the alpha scale you can like 
increase the density of the hair or reducing it and then you can change the strength of the brush the strength of the alpha like something like this stronger or even lighter I prefer stronger because in the sculpting hair usually the hair details is lost when it's got printed so you need to have a stronger detail of the hair strand and then press ok as you can see now in the view part the the hair is already have texture and then the next step when I I use this one is I turn off the noise you you see over here there's a noise you press that one off and then we back to the previous one and then usually I do like press the group by normal this one can be found in tool poly group so it's over here group by normal you can set the maximum angle to like something around 35 something like this and then you can group by normal and then it's create a different color for strand probably the one strand is split into like five I think and then you can press the crease poly group border can be found in the geometry and then where is it crease and then crease poly group border and then bang as you can see now b before is it's smooth but when I press the crease poly group it becomes sharper okay next usually I I made it into another auto another group like split by group you can press the auto group and then you can use the move topological and then increase the brush size lower the, the intensity and you can start move around the hair clump next after you satisfied with how it's look you can just press noise Oh, before that you can go to the geometry we press shift D to turn off the dynamic subdivision level it's, it's inside here dynamic and no dynamic subdivision level and then we can press divide for several time I usually press it until like subdivision 5 and then the next thing I do is just press noise and then apply the mesh so you can have this type of hair if you want to add another hair you can just go back to your head files head subtool and then you press another one and then you can add the for example you can have the smaller strand of hair something like this I usually add it to break up, break up the the hair so it looks like have a more strand hair strand something like that And then if you want to move this thing you can use the transpose you can press the the Q oh the W and then you press this one gizmo 3d you press Y and then there's a transpose line like this you can press you can create it over something like this and then you press this one and then press alt as you can see you, we can easier to move the tip of the hair something like this if you want the hair 
a little bit sharper you can just isolate this one and then you can use pinch maybe something move okay i hope it's helped so have a nice day